Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. And in this video, we are, what are we doing? <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this electrical principles training video. We're doing something a little bit different in this video. This is far away from what I normally do, but as you'll know if you follow me on social media, very recently, the lovely people at Matrix TSL donated uh, their electrical machines kit for me to make some videos on Joe Robinson training, which is incredibly uh, wonderful as a gesture. And thank you very much again to the good folks at Matrix. So what we're going to do, Gary, we're going to do an unboxing video. Oh, technical. You can see why I've been parachuted in. Absolutely. You've been fumbling around with that maths for many a month now, and I can see technical video, you've got technical yep. gans in. I need someone to help me with this box opening. Absolutely, okay. very, very difficult right. stuff. So uh, I think we get started straight away. So we're gonna be looking at uh, the kit that we've been sent here. Uh, it consists of four core components uh, and there's some little bits and bobs for us to have a look at in a box as well. But uh, I think we, uh, we start opening some boxes. All right, sounds exciting. Come on, Joe, the suspense is killing me. I need that <laughs> knife, come on. Okay, so we're gonna open up, first of all, what really is the brain of the electrical machines kit? This is the control box. Huh. So uh, now I've seen you do this on, uh, on YouTube before, and I, I think the saying is, away from your thumb towards a chum. It is. Cool, so you're gonna be the chum in this case. Oh, right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this <laughs> away from my thumb. I thought my technicalities, oh, no. I've been parachuting into the box opening section. Oh, well, I was oh, hoping right, okay. to Oh, explain. that looks like towards your chum. That is towards my chum. Okay, I'll let you open that side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to do it now, am I? So, uh, oh, the excitement, the excitement of a brown oh box God. opening. I can tell you've done this before. Yes, yeah. expert. Yeah. Absolutely right. And I'll oh. get this oh, there we go. Go towards your own thumb. Away from me thumb, <laughs> towards a chum. There we go. No, that's, that's wrong, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got inside here. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Bubble wrap. <laughs> so, you can play with that, Gary. <laughs> I'm going to get this out of the uh, out of the box here. Massive it's, thanks to Matrix. I hope this video. No, we have to say thank you guys for watching. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, if you could just remove yes, that so we'll take this brown box for the me. There we go. Now I'm going to be super careful at this point because I really don't want to scratch up this lovely, lovely bit of kit here. So we'll just take this off. Will you be nice revealing what type of videos, Joe, that you'll be getting out of this kit at some point as well for the good folk watching? Absolutely. So this is the electrical machines kit, which means it's all about motors. So we're going to be looking at uh, shooting some videos for motors. Everyone and I, watching I, will know there's a few gaps in my channel when it comes to that subject. Yeah. I must admit it was the, my least favourite part, and you'll, you'll probably oh, be hot. No, yeah, no, oh, no, because it was, it was just drawings and acetates. Drawings right, and yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't yeah. see a motor. Here's a drawing <laughs> of a motor. We didn't, circuit, see a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't see a motor. Wow, so look at that in all its glory. So this is really the brains of the electrical machines kit. This is where you can control any number of different things. So we'll just lift this up a little bit and have a look at that. So you can see here you've got various dials and things for controlling uh, the power supply. So you've got a DC power supply, uh, you've got your uh, connections for your dynamometer, so a little bit more on that later on. Uh, we've also got uh, an AC supply. We've even, Gary, look at this, we've got a three-phase supply down here. That's going to be super helpful. Will this need to be plugged into a three-phase supply in order to generate a three-phase no, Absolutely not. This just plugs isn't? directly in. It's just got the old uh, IEC kettle plug on the back there, and that's just going to connect directly into the mains and then generate a three-phase supply inside it. Which is pretty cool in itself. I am really, really excited about this. So there's all kinds of things you can control and monitor on here. You can look at how fast it's uh, running the motor uh, and lots of different things. There's a single phase supply down there as well. Uh, and I think also, if memory serves, this bit here is for connecting up your, uh, your split phase motors. So your okay. capacitor start wow. induction run type thing. So that's really, uh, so really exciting. With that in mind then, we're hoping that a couple of these boxes may have a, a three phase motor and a DC motor. I in think it. it might be the one that says three phase AC motor on the top and the one that says DC motor on it. Yes. I'd like to say for the camera, read it upside down as well, which is pretty <laughs> impressive. Yeah. Well done, Gary. I'm, I'm impressed. Now, one of the other fantastic things that you can do with this is this is not just uh, a kind of a, a standalone kit. You can actually connect this up to your PC Ooh. with some software that's freely downloadable from the Matrix website, and you can actually uh, then monitor how your motors are behaving via software on your PC so you can plot graphs and all sorts of stuff on there. Absolutely brilliant. Powerful, or yeah. say, powerful piece yeah. of kit. Really, really excited about that. Are we delaying the next box over? Because it's the bit I can actually be involved I'm in. just enjoying this so much. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Well, so uh, we'll just swap things around a little bit. So, so if you want to shove that my way. Okay. There we go. That, that side Thanks just very much. there, very carefully. I was going to say be extremely careful with my lovely new, <laughs> new control box there. Right, so uh, well, again, yep. towards my thumb, apparently. Yep, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> The least important limb. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
So this is going to be massive amount of content, I would suggest, from this, yeah? Absolutely, yes. The possibilities are endless. And what's really nice is I've got a lot of material that I can shoot here, and there are other types of motor as well that you can get and connect. This is just the core kit, so there's lots of other right, okay. potential uh, material coming out of this. Let's see if I can just get myself absolutely paranoid about scratching any of this, because it's such a beautiful kit. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so let's hoik this lovely fella out. So this is the dynamometer. Let's get this out here. Wow. Is that a point? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Look at that. How cool is that? It looks like something for splitting atoms, <laughs> doesn't it? Look at that bad boy. How cool is that? That's fantastic. So this is your dynamometer. So this is going to measure various things for us. It's going to measure uh, the uh, speed that the motor's turning at, which is really cool. And it also, we can use this, because I'm sure you remember if you cast your mind back to your uh, uh, science days, Gary, when you were studying this subject, there was a lot of information about torque and things like that, wasn't it? The, the type of torque that a machine develops. Absolutely. And the different circumstances that it does it in. Yep. And this is the thing that's going to help us to do that. So there's a little pair of scales that sits in here, and you can do some uh, uh, measurements and calculations with that, which is really cool. Got it all covered. Yeah, Got it's really covered. good. That, that is, you know, if nothing else, yeah. it's a fant fantastic looking piece of kit. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And actually, what's nice is they, they changed the style of it. So when Alistair came to see me, the, the uh, travelling salesman from uh, uh, Matrix. I'm sure he's got a better title than that. Though, yeah, it, I'm sure he has. I'm just fumbling around for it. So I can't possibly. It's probably something like regional specification <laughs> manager, isn't it? That's one of your uh, one of your specials. <laughs> um, but when he brought this to show me the first time, it was it was beautiful looking and it was kind of everything was painted black, but what you'll see as we open the motors now is they've they've kind of gone for this silver look on a lot of it and it looks absolutely stunning now. It looks absolutely beautiful. And if we're watching this and say we're another college lecturer, mm -hmm. this is all available on the website, is it? Yes, yeah, at matrixtsl.com, I think is the website. Okay. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description below so you can click on that to have a look. And harbouring back to what I said, this brings the electrical science and principles alive. Yeah, All the matrix kits that we've seen on your thing. So yeah. we would have drawn back in my day, my, my good science and principles teacher is also now a good friend, would yeah. have drawn the picture of a resistor yep. next to another yep. picture of a resistor. <laughs> and then we would have calculated the total resistance. Yep. And we can do that, but we can do it actually as an experiment. Can Absolutely. We use the electronics yes. kit, so. and, and indeed, we have done that <laughs> on Germans and Trading. So please go and look at that. Yeah, but there's lots of, uh, lots of possibilities. And again, you know, the board work has its place, you know, You've got, a, you've got to crunch through the numbers, but actually this kit brings it to life, which is absolutely uh, fantastic. And some lovely kind of safety features about this as well. We're, we're obviously going to be connecting motors to this device, and yep. you can obviously you're dealing with rotating yep. parts, which could be dangerous. So you've got this sleeve over the connecting portion there. So the idea is you can never lean over it and get your tie wrapped up in there. We've also got little micro switches in here. So you slide your motor oh, right. into here, and this will not operate. The motor won't operate until it locks into that. That's good. Which is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah? Very clever. So a really, really nice bit of kit. And again, just I just can't wait to actually start playing with this, you know. And that I think that's the thing for me, isn't it? When you get something like this, it's it's it shows that the electrical science and principles is actually fun. You know, you can you can play with it. You can uh, learn while you're uh, while you're enjoying it. Well, you talked about putting a motor on here and locking it. Shall we open another box and see if we can find our motor? Let's absolutely. We're going to move this yes. slightly. So absolutely. So we'll go with position. this one. Yeah. So we'll go with this one now. So, your excellent upside down reading skills, oh, Gary. Oh, unbelievable. What have we got here? Uh, um, <laughs> <I've written it. laughs> Three phase AC motor. <laughs> well done. Could you uh, just yes, pass me that's a knife? Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right, so we'll open this one up now. This is genuinely really exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. All right, so let's have a look inside here. There we go. And let's see what the three phase motor looks like. Okay, so we'll have that out of the packaging. If you could whip the cardboard away, Gary, thank you. And we'll get inside here. Again, be very careful, because I don't want to damage what I'm already coming to think of as my new baby. <laughs> this is just, oh. Look at that. That is cool, isn't it? That is cool. Yep. So you see on the bottom there, you've got the, the sliding rails that go into there. So it uh, lines up the, the motor with the dynamometer really nicely. Oh, God, I just love that, that silver finish there. I think that looks absolutely glorious. So nice. You've got your connections there. And you'll notice, Gary, how many connections have we got there? 
And we've got two, four, six. Yeah, so that means that we're able to connect this up in both star and delta okay. uh, remotely, which is really, really excellent. So that's a nice demonstration for that as well. So that is really quite beautiful. So again, the idea is we'll slide that into there, tighten it up onto there so it's nice and safe. This uh, driving portion here will uh, mate with that, and then we can power this up and start to analyze how the motor's behaving in different circumstances. We'll be able to change the loading on it and all sorts of uh, exciting and clever stuff. Yeah, it's really good. It, it is really, really good. good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and a little bit overwhelmed by this. This yeah. is uh, really such a fantastic And it comes back thing. to that, we didn't have this when I sat there. And no. Again, we drew loads of pictures. Yeah, yeah we might have, you know, just, and now we're actually going to see it working. Absolutely. Operation. It's yeah. really, really good. Brings it to life, doesn't it? Which is brilliant. And there's nothing stopping every college up and down the country and in investing in these um, yeah. electronics matrix kits in yeah. order to bring to life their science and Absolutely. principles. Absolutely. Yeah, and again, heartily recommend it. It is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Right. Almost don't want to move this away. It's so lovely. Right. So, gonna... bring another brown box, my <laughs> <show>. old friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's have a look now at this one. So again, let's uh, let's have your skills, Gary. So what's this one? It's a Cudder motor. It's a Cudder motor. Well done. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So we've got here our DC motor, which we're going to open up. Uh, I, I stole it last time. Yeah, I know. I'll let you do the front. I'm window dressing here. Yeah, yeah. yeah window right. dressing, Gas. Sorry. I'm just a little just bit overwhelmed by the, uh, by the excitement of it all. Sorry. There you go. All right. I'll whip this one out. I'll take your box away. Thank you very much. Very good. And well, I'm right. Nice bit. It's got a very modern feel and look to it, though, with the black and the silver, mm, hasn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it looks very sleek. There we go. There we go. And there's our DC motor. Very nice. Now, I must admit, I've not looked into this one in quite as much depth, but my understanding is I think this is a permanent magnet motor, uh, from what I can tell, because I believe you can also get. Uh, a series round and a shunt round motor, but I think okay. this is just a permanent magnet motor. But again, what so, a brilliant idea, because we can just explain the concept of how a motor works really nice and simply. So you're saying this, this kit can be expanded on with more motors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh. yeah this, is, this is just the core kit. So right. this is just the three-phase motor, the DC motor, the control box and the dynamometer, but we can now get additional motors to actually bolt onto this, yeah? So we can uh, perform lots of different experiments. So we're teasing out the first part of the motor oh, series and there'll be more to follow afterwards. Absolutely, yeah. Look out for more box opening videos. Well, we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, so it's, uh, it's very exciting. So again, yeah, we've got the lovely silver finish on there. It's all nice and safe to connect up. So you've got your, uh, your banana plugs there, as we call them, yeah? So yep. we've got that ready to go and uh, that as we say, we'll just beautifully slide into there. I'm not going to attempt this live on camera for the first time ever because <laughs> I don't want to make myself look like an idiot. But uh, we will be uh, we will be playing with this and strapping this together and seeing exactly what it can do and what what lovely maths we can do with our motors. So from your channel point of view, then I'm likely to see now a tab that says uh, motors or single and three phase motors. There'll be there'll be a, a motors playlist. Absolutely, yeah, we'll build on that and. Uh, this just embeds so nicely as well into the City and Guilds 5357, 2365. Hopefully not going to change those numbers anytime soon. Yeah. And also the EAL, Diploma in Electrical Installation, uh, Level 3 yeah. and Level 2 for the, the principles of the motor. So it's a Level 2 and Level 3 course or whichever one you study in the Science and Principles videos will be very relevant. Absolutely. So then, what are we going to put all this in? Does it go back into the cardboard boxes that we oh. just hoiked them out of? No, 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 no. The Matrix have thought of everything. So it comes with these lovely oh, rugged wow. storage boxes. So there's a few of these that come with the kit. And obviously you can just pop all your bits in there to keep them safe when you're uh, either storing it in your classroom or when you're, you know, sort of uh, popping it away or moving it around to different places. So yeah, really good rugged storage, which is going to keep all of your kit nice and safe. And also, what's very nice, is it comes with a box of little goodies and little extras here as well, which is pretty phenomenally. Oh, helpful. I do like a tray yes. and I do like a bit of foam. Yeah. Okay. So, in here, we've got some bits and bobs. So, oh. some of the classic matrix kit. So, we've got some uh, resistors, diodes, lamp holders, etc., for us to. Uh, do some experimentation with to adjust our circuit slightly. All, all about this kit as well. Yeah, all, it's all in the relating kit. to this. Yeah, wow. it's all relating to this. And then, oh, just look at this. This is like a like a treasure trove. There we go. So we've got plenty of leads for hooking your control box up to your different motors and the dynamometer. So that's super helpful. And then some leads for connecting from your 
uh, electronics board to the electrical machines kit if wow. we need to do some stuff with that. Oh, you, your scales you mentioned earlier on yep, as well, yeah? Yep. So the set of scales that sits under the dynamometer and there's a calculation you can do to convert the uh, uh, force being exerted on that into your torque, torque value. Yep. And then we've got uh, various leads for hooking up to your computer. Uh, we've got uh, oscilloscope converters there as well, which is really quite beautiful. So it's okay if your name is Joe Robinson and this kit comes because you, you're very uh, very good at hooking things up and knowing what you're doing. <laughs> if you're perhaps uh, a little bit new to technology like me, yeah, okay, just about got a, a, a phone at home that hasn't got a cable connected to the actual yeah. uh, uh, dial, how can I have, or is there any help to talk me through how to connect up an experiment I want to do? Absolutely there is. And this again is one of the reasons that I love the kit that Matrix TSL produces because they don't just produce the kit and expect you to get on with it. They actually produce working booklets for you to work from. Oh wow. So if you go to the website, again, click the link below and you'll find it. Um, on the page that relates to the specific kit that you've bought, Yes. Under the resources tab, there's a little tab that says resources. If you click on that, it actually will be uh, PDF documents that actually are lessons for you effectively. So you can sit down and just work your way through that either on your own if you're doing some self-directed learning or if you're a teacher, you can work through that booklet performing the demonstrations and the, the calculations and the experiments as described in those books. So any of the Matrix Electronics kits, I could leave that in my classroom. Yep. I could leave maybe my iPad by the side of it mm -hmm. and the students themselves could create the circuit required for that yep. lesson, yep. get the results and then we could drag that back to the whiteboard and embed it. Options are endless, yeah, absolutely. I, th I think moving forward, maybe, maybe a small video on actually showing us that, how yep. to find that part of the website and, and just show us some of the examples of those yep. you can set up would be helpful to me, yep. I would suggest, because being not very technically minded, <laughs> but also the people out there that might be a little bit overawed by the kit, yep. to, just to make it a little bit easier yeah, for us. Yeah, good idea, yeah, we'll do that. That's yeah. a smart move, I like that. So again, and just, you know, just being thorough, you've got your electronics board at the bottom with your uh, connecting pillars for you to screw onto there and, and get all that ready to go, so. That is Absolutely fantastic. It's a serious amount of kit, that yeah. is, Joe. I think it leaves me just to say one thing. <laughs> well, just before you say your one thing, just thank you very much again to the people at Matrix TSL. Thank you to Alice, uh, Liam, Laura, Alice, all of you lovely people. Uh, this is overwhelming. Uh, for us to, to have received this. I'm sure you'll agree, Gary. And from my point of view, I don't think the benefit is just to you. Mm. I think the benefit is to the people that are actually watching 100%. this. But yeah. again, if you can get it into your college, so yeah. you can actually embed the video that you, you potentially produced on it yeah. or your lecture is done for you in front of you, but actually it's getting your hands on the kit where the yeah. real fun uh, actually is with this stuff. Yeah. So it just leaves me to say, thank you guys for watching. That's my line. That's my line now. I own it. <laughs>